hello friends welcome back today i'm going to prune and give you some tips about growing mogra plant there are two plants with me here they are in uh, ample pots so how to grow and care for mogra plant is the topic today and how to get flowers in them so stay tuned to tamara's garden just plant location should be a place where it gets full sunlight in the morning so these plants grow really well and flower well if they receive a lot of uh, sunlight in the morning that is the most important thing if you keep it in a low light area they will not flower that you will have to keep in mind when uh, putting this plant if you have ground it you can put it in the ground so if you have put it in a pot or if you have ground it you can keep it in area where it gets the full sunlight in the morning that is the most important thing so i'm going to do a little bit pruning here because i want new flowers so now after flowering you can see these type of uh, ends of the flowers you can cut and remove them so just cut it from the stem and remove them from the plant now here also i have a another one over here so i'm going to cut them so pruning is a good thing for the jasmine plant and they will flower more from the place where you have pruned so now if i cut it from here small stems you can see these plants easily uh, grow new stems and you will see more flowering in them so pruning is a must for these plants especially if you have put them in pots so here are some of the buds appearing in my uh, mogra plant jasmine plant here also here also i'm going to remove so these plants you can grow with a single stem jasmine plants and keeping the top layer of the soil uh, free from dirt is very important keep it clean but during this warm season i put some uh, dry leaves on top of the soil to protect the roots from the uh, heat and also during the rainy days also if you have put some uh, dry leaves they work well as mulching also so during the summer season the heat is really very high and going on still going on these warm days you can cover up the top soil with dried leaves now here i have done that so keep some dry leaves on the top you can use your kitchen waste also so, so when talking about watering during the hot summers you can water them once in the morning and once in the evening but do not over water these plants though they loves the bit humidity in the soil so these plants doesn't like too dry soil as well not too soggy also you will have to balance the soil and always check the soil and water these plants that is really very important when talking about fertilizer you can use cow dung fertilizer and also so you can use uh, homemade organic fertilizers banana field fertilizers and there are many because if your uh, mogra plant is not getting enough leaves and only the stem is there you can use tea and coffee fertilizer because they are nitrogen high so uh, when talking about the soil mixture for this plant if you are putting it in a pot see that you take uh, garden soil sand and compost equal parts and uh fill up the potting mix so as you can see these plants are really very healthy looking but uh, still uh, less flowering so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a fertilizer today and i will be sharing it with you as well so i have a collection of uh, fertilizer that is uh, eggshells and uh, banana peels so i'm going to use it on my uh, I have a collection here in my bag. So first thing I'm going to do is uh, dig around the plant a little bit and uh, put away all the unwanted uh, stuff. And after that only I'm going to add the fertilizer. So now these eggshells I'm going to add directly to this uh, plant, not to the root but to a side of the plant. And after that I'm going to cover it with the soil so likewise you can use eggshells and banana peels also for your mogra plant or else any other flowering plant 
for them to flower well so that is how you exactly take care of your mogra plants so these are one of the beautiful uh, flowering plant to your garden one of the most uh, fragrant plants also so some people use them in their pujas as well for many religious activities so have this one plant in your garden and if there are any questions you can come in below uh, to me and i will answer you and also this is with my personal experience i'm doing my gardening so hope you enjoy today's video and please do subscribe if you are new to my channel thank you